The advice I would give is uh, you don't <coughs> focus yourself on winning prizes and the Nobel Prize as such. Uh, what you do is uh, you look to do something in life that really grabs you, that uh, you feel you can be absolutely passionate about uh, to the extent that, uh, as I said last night, uh, you end up going somewhere on a daily basis uh, practicing your hobby rather than uh, feeling that you're in the workplace. So it's got to be something that uh, comes from within you, something that uh, you really want to uh, achieve. If you're going to get game changers in science, then uh, you really got to give people the space to do fundamental work. Um, if you don't, then uh, you will make incremental advances without a doubt. But uh, you know, to uh, grab that really big uh, jump in uh, technology, then uh, you really need to give people time, you need to give people the resource, you need to give people uh, a lot of encouragement, and uh, it'll happen. You know, the world is replete of examples where uh, so-called blue skies research uh, is uh, the best way sometimes to allow these uh, new ideas to uh, surface. So. I don't see a big difference, to be very honest, between applied research and uh, fundamental research. There's only really good research when it comes down to it. You know, I'm in this very privileged position of uh, having people in my research group that, uh, for the most part, are between 22 and uh, 32. Uh, sometimes I have some undergraduates, so they are a little bit younger. Um, you know, this is a privilege beyond belief. It keeps me young. I mean, even my daughters reflect on the fact that uh, as a grandparent, I uh, behave differently from most of their friends' grandparents because uh, I'm with all these young people. You know, you don't get into uh, thinking in very, very narrow directions uh, if you're uh, you know, accompanied by young people for a long period of time. I wasn't so much, uh, you'll do this today or you'll do that tomorrow, no. Uh, it was more that I was there to give support, um, I was there to comment, I was there to help them to learn to write, how to um, present themselves orally, how to prepare slides and things like that. So, so more mentorship than, uh, if you like, uh, research leadership. Interdisciplinary research uh, is well established now. It wasn't when I started out 50 years ago, but um, I think the onset of nanotechnology in the 1980s was uh, just a wonderful uh, way by which uh, the community uh, were actually very much encouraged to give up being in boxes and maybe even fighting with each other and deciding to come together. And so suddenly, in the wake of uh, the advances in nanotechnology with the new uh, instruments that came on the uh, market and uh, the first demonstrations, you found the uh, walls between physics and chemistry, between biology and material science uh, um, and engineering all collapse and uh, people were for the first time in I think about half a century ready to start working together as um, they hadn't done previously and I think the results have just been amazing as a result of this you know coming together.